Hey guys, so I thought I'd show the backgrounds that I made or got done with the alcohol inks and uh, some other stuff. Oh, I did want to show the finished uh, images that I colored with the um, so the Brute Foomer metallic um, colored pencils. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, no. No. But, um, hopefully the camera's picking up the colors, but, um, it turned out absolutely stunning. And I don't know if you can see the gradient of color or not. But anyways, there's that one. And then, um, here's the other one that I got done. So I'm just so happy, so happy. So this one, I don't know. I did this because uh, there's no metallic white in the set. There's just a silver. Um, but the silver kind of looks like a white on the block. And so I did yellow kind of gradiating, gradi I don't think that's a word, a gradient of yellow to silver in that uh, little one but I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not anyway so super happy with those and then I um, I've had these on my desk I just got my desk uh, cleaned off oh shoot of course I had to drop something on the ground um, I just got my desk cleaned off I'm working on getting all the little bits put away but I might have these backgrounds sitting on my, um, I call them quilted backgrounds. Um, and I like to make them with my tiny paper scraps, uh, when my, uh, which my tiny scrap turkey, um, is super full right now. Um, this is my tiny scrap of Jenny paper that also goes in the turkey when it can fit. Anyways, um, I make these backgrounds to help whittle down my tiny turkey basket um, for the scrap. So um, these will eventually be um, made into cards, but they're just backgrounds now because they take time to put together. Um, so, they're, you know, I just, I have them made so that they're ready um and then because i'm not making cards right away just in case so i don't forget i write down um who contributed to the to the backgrounds you know like there's paper from jenny leela and cheryl on this one so um anyways there's that one that one Not all of them I do stitch marks, like if it's telling me I, I don't know. This one, it just gave me the impression of like Art Deco. And so I wanted to use this background for a man card, so I didn't put stitch stitch marks. Art Deco doesn't have stitch marks. <laughs> so, that one, I know, it's kind of boring, I'm sorry. There's a lot of them with this paper because um, Jenny had sent me some die cuts. So we're meant to go with, it was like an accordion uh, thing, box, an accordion box, but I didn't have all the pieces, not that I make paper dimensional stuff like that anyways, so I just cut it on, on this. I feel like I'm talking nonsense. Um... It was die cut pieces that I couldn't finish doing the project for, so I just I cut it up and made the quilted backgrounds because there's score marks in it, so I couldn't use it for like a mat itself. 
That one. And that one. Um, okay, so the alcohol ink backgrounds that I just showed were the video should go up before this one. Um, these were the two. Uh, I ended up doing a second batch of um, <laughs> alcohol ink backgrounds uh, because I was feeling inspired, and it's such a messy project that you want to get it bunched done at one time, you know, so that you're not continually destroying your desk. Um, but anyways, I got two eight and a half by eleven uh, background pieces made up from the drippings from the. I just feel real stupid right now. Um, this was backgrounds made from the drippings from the alcohol ink backgrounds that I was making. Um, so this is the front, but the back looks pretty cool too. I like that it's lighter colors on the back. You know, it's not so muddied. So, um, I don't know. It'll be cool to die cut jellyfishes. I kind of wish I had a squid die because I just, I don't know. I just want to cut squid out of this <laughs> hot pink part. Here's the first one. This one has a lot more ink on it. So it looks a little bit more muddied, but the back of it is pretty cool. Cool. So yeah, it'll be good for die cutting. Very excited over all the colors. So here is the all of the uh, the alcohol ink. Oh no, gosh, camera! I swear. There we go. It was going in the right orientation when I clicked record again. I don't know what happened. So, some of the, you know, I never know how they're going to turn out. <laughs> this one, or on these three, the neon yellow uh, alcohol ink that I was using, it was coagulating and turned into like this granular bits. And, um... I don't know why I, I don't remember what other things I was mixing it with that would cause it to coagulate, but um, it was coming off real bad. So I pretty much sprayed all of them with hairspray. I don't know if it's because I did it on photo paper that it wasn't completely absorbing into the paper, but um, I sprayed them all with hairspray because especially this yellow that was coagulating on top. It was just coming right off and turning my hands bright yellow. And don't mind my hands. Um, a lot of the ink came off of them, but... Um, yeah, not all the ink. <laughs> It'll probably be a, a good week before I get all the ink out for my nail beds. Which is fine. So some of them turned out pretty cool. Some of them I'll use for background. Some of them I'll use for die cutting. Just depends. I wish I could say I made a dent in my photo paper. I did not. In this. I don't even remember how I got so much fucking photo paper. I don't remember where it all came from. I know I didn't buy it. I did not buy the photo. Maybe I got it for my dad. Who did I get a bunch of file folders from? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember where the I'm really liking the pink and purple ones. I think those ones turned out really pretty. And I'll probably use most of the pink and purple ones for the Mother's Day cards. Like some of them, I want to use the more pastel-y ones for the Mother's Day cards. And then, you know, the more neon ones, 
I'll probably use for die. I'm not sure. Maybe birthday cards. Like, I like neon colors for birthday cards. Uh, I like pink and orange, too. That's one of my favorite combos. Pink and orange. See, this one, the... The orange granulated on top. It For whatever reason, it was mainly the yellow that was coming off real bad, but... Yeah, orange granulated on this one. So I'm not sure, you know, what what it was mixing with. I can't remember. I've done so many backgrounds. I mean, I don't hate it. I kind of like the look of the granular granulation on top. And I like that it has a different texture feel, you know. I should be good on backgrounds for... A little while. I mean, I probably didn't need to do this because I have painted papers <laughs> um, from people, but you know, I have the stuff. I have the stuff. That one's cool. Kind of want to do something fairy related with that one. It's giving off fairy vibes. I was going to do a tutorial on the quilt to back. I mean, it's not hard. Um, I like doing quilted backgrounds that way because it doesn't require dyes, which create more scraps, you know, more waste. So, this one, a lot of granulation. Yeah, there's a lot of granulation on these next couple. And that, uh, the Primus spray, that, uh, metal color one, um, that one was metallic, plus it kind of had a matte feel to it. I might cut up some squares of, ra of wax paper and stick them in between it, because some of them are still, they're sticking a little bit. This one's one of my favorites. It's, uh, I mean, besides the color, it's got a little bit of granulation, some really fine granulation going up on top. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use that for a background or die cut it, but I know I'm going to want to use it for something super cool. And then here's the, yeah, here's the last one. Those are my backgrounds. I think they turned out pretty cool. Pretty cool. I know not everyone likes the shiny. It's not my favorite thing either, but so I, I honestly don't know or remember where I got all the photo, photo paper. I wish I could remember. I think I had a little bit when I moved from my old house, but I didn't have this much because my dad took the little uh, photograph printer, so I don't know. I got in big trouble when I printed out a picture one time. Oh, okay. 
thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Adios.